Hi, I'm Bill Perry with Monster Cable, and today I want to talk about two things. First, I want to talk about Monster Clean Power. And second, I want to talk about Monster's Automatic Voltage Stabilizer and how all of these can help you improve the performance of your equipment in your home studio. Now, first I want to talk about Clean Power. And to understand Clean Power, we have to first understand what is Dirty Power. So let's take a quick class in physics. When you have two wires running side by side, carrying electrical current, there's a property called inductance. And what this does is these two wires all of a sudden become an antenna. How does electricity get to your studio, to your home, to your place of work? By two wires running side by side, carrying electrical current, right? Power lines. So as the electricity comes to your house, it's picking up all kinds of EMI, RFI, uh, cell phone waves, FM waves, AM waves, all kinds of noise is coming into your home studio. That's not really good for your noise floor. Now what does it sound like? What we have here is a noise sniffer. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a quick little demonstration and we're going to hear what this noise sounds like when it arrives at your studio. This is a simple listening device, okay? I'm just going to plug one end into a uh, extension cord which is coming right out of the wall in our studio. I'm going to plug it in here and turn it on. And now, that's what the noise is going to sound like. That's the noise that's going into your noise floor. Not too good for production. So now, let's take that same noise sniffer and we're going to plug it into a Monster Pro 2500, okay? Turn it on. What do we have? No noise. That's fantastic. That is complete elimination of all that noise. Now that's Monster Clean Power Stage 1. Let's talk about Monster Clean Power Stage 2. Now that's isolation. Now what is isolation? Here's an example. Saturday afternoon you're watching television and all of a sudden somebody turns on a power tool or maybe somebody in the house turns on a vacuum cleaner or a hair dryer. What happens to the television? You get all that static, right? The exact same thing happens in your studio. Somebody turns on a power tool, somebody turns on a subwoofer or some sort of electronic piece in your, in your studio and what happens to your noise floor? Goes right up, okay? That's shared component noise. Now, we have right here a simple charger for a cell phone. It's going to represent shared component noise. That noise is generated when somebody turns on another power tool or another electronic piece in your studio. I'm going to plug it into the exact same channel on this Pro 2500. What happens? Here's that exact same noise, right? Okay. Now what happens? Monster has stage two clean power, which is isolation. I'm going to plug it into another channel bank right next door to it. Look, no noise. It's gone. Monster's clean power stage two is isolation. We've now isolated and we have these in two separate channels. I can put my analog here, my digital here, my audio here, my video here. So that way you can have that isolation. That's Monster Clean Power stages one and stage two. Now let's talk about Monster's automatic voltage stabilizer. The electricity coming into your studio is rarely at a steady 120 volts, right? And your equipment needs 120 volts consistently in order to operate within specs. If it's not operating within specs, you're not getting the performance that you need out of your equipment. Wouldn't you like to have a consistent 120 volts going to your equipment? Sure you would. With Monster's Automatic Voltage Stabilizer 2000, you're going to get a steady flow of electricity, 120 volts going right to your equipment. Now how it works is inside the AVS 2000 is a huge toroidal transformer that is constantly moving and it's either adding or subtracting voltage so you have a steady 120 volts. It does this within plus or minus 0.7 volts and it does it within milliseconds so it's really fast. Now let me show you how it looks. I have a demo set up right here and what we're going to do is we're going to run through some voltages. I have a variac here which will take the voltage up to 140 and down to blackout. On the right over here is a flame lamp that represents your equipment not protected or not going through the automatic voltage stabilizer. This one over here is going through the AVS 2000. So now, let's pump it up to 140 volts. Your equipment over here is getting zapped with 140. Is that good? Not really, because then your equipment is going to be overtaxed and it's probably going to shorten the life and performance of your equipment. Equipment over here going through the AVS is getting a consistent 120 volts and you can see the AVS 2000 is actually dumping 20 volts. Now let's drop down to say brownout. 
not a very good place to be when you have all those summer rolling brownouts. Your equipment over here is starving for electricity, but with the AVS 2000, it's adding 40 volts, so it maintains a consistent 120 volts. And what comes after brownout? We all know. Blackout. And blackout can really affect your equipment, but it's not as bad when the power comes back on, right? Because when the power comes back on, you get hit with surges, two, three, three or four at a time, right? Your equipment is getting hit at 140 volts. But with Monster's AVS 2000, the piece of equipment is going to wait until there's a steady flow of electricity between 140 and 80, and then within 15 seconds, it will actually turn on all your equipment using its sequential programming. Now, with Monster's AVS 2000 and its consistent flow of 120 volts to your equipment, plus Monster's Clean Power Stage 1 and Stage 2, your studio is going to be set up for some fantastic performance. My name is Bill Perry, and thanks for watching.